Hello everybody, Steve Tuner again with our Backpack Balance Run. And today I'm going to try to do the anti-meta build. So right now the meta is pan build, uh, more specifically shovel build, which uh, here we go, off into the shovel build we go, you're gone. And uh, let's do this. Now I just mentioned anti-meta build and the moment I said that I'm instantly going into meta build. I'm going to reorganize this. Yeah, this needs reorganization. A reorganized time, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna just sell the starting lock. As you see, I was literally struggling to reorganize with <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's see how we're gonna win again without luck. They go with the wooden sword whetstone uh, approach. I go with the pan broom approach. I mean, DPS... Oh, we got a big hit there at the end. Come on, man. They they got... They high rolled. They high rolled. It can't be. We got like a... We were winning and then they literally did like... Did us dirty from... From 11. Wooden Sword hit for 4, and Broom hit for 4. Yeah, Broom was high roll, and Wooden Sword is also high roll. They literally high roll. They rolled 4-4s four back to back. And we got Regen, very nice. So uh, this is really good. Healing Herb, and we got the meta right now, the Shovel, which is 6% chance to inflict a blind, and then dig up a random item on Shop Enter. That dig up another item is the busted aspect of this, because it can give you piggy banks and whatever it decides to give you. I will uh, not... I will not roll right now. Let's... Do I have this? I don't think we got this, but there is no reason to really roll. And so for the best here. Yeah, we should be losing. Although this is gain 3D sheet. Wait, what? Did they change this? They changed this. They changed this without even making sense. I'm going to read it in a moment, but you're going to understand why it doesn't make sense. I mean, the garlic is giving armor, but... And this right now is completely changed. Uh, let's beat this fight. I'm going to read what it reads. Also, opponent is blinded. Therefore, they shouldn't damage us. We have regen. We have banana. Theoretically, we should outheal them. Practically, we shouldn't because they have garlic. Okay, so let me read that thing now because it's changed a lot. So this used to be gain one damage and every time you get uh, gain one spike, start of battle, and then uh, when you attack, uh, guaranteed one armor. Now this is 35% 30, chance to prevent five damage on melee attack. And also whenever I gain, whenever this character gains 3D shielding, gain one spikes, you don't get shielding from the shield anymore. So uh, that aspect is completely gone. And we just rolled a stone, pretty unlucky. Found luck. I found the carrot. I mean, theoretically, I should go for carrot. Reason being, um, yeah, the meta is shovels. So whoever removes more debuffs is most likely going to be winning. And therefore, carrot is a yes. Let's roll this. We found the corrupted crystal. This is an instant take this early. Because this is going to give us literally free wins against fatigue. And I would like to get a double shovel build if I can do so. Actually, I want to go for the anti-meta. So I'm going to go blueberries. I already have an idea in mind what exactly the build's gonna be. Now, the reason why you go for Crafter Crystal, in case you haven't seen the Fatigue build, uh, you win Fatigue fights if you out-Fatigue the opponent, because the way how Fatigue works is that every time you get the Fatigue uh, debuff stack, you get damaged for however many debuffs you have. So right now, the opponent already has four debuffs, and now they're gonna start taking four, five, six, instead of taking one, two, three. See, six, seven, eight, nine, and they're gone. And they're gone. We should beat all the fatigue fights as long as I have a crystal and they don't. And we got a free walrus tusk. That's why your shovel is busted. It just gave us a four cost item just like that. So uh, we're going to go this. We're going to go mana. And at the same time also... Uh, by the way, everybody's putting them in. Never ever. Don't put them in early game. Late game, maybe. Early game, never. I don't even want to reroll, honestly. Let's just go. Let's continue as we are. I think as long as we're winning, this is Spike's build with super duper shielding and also Goobert, which the Goobert is never going to trigger. Maybe the Goobert triggers if I activate the wooden buckler enough times. But theoretically, from the fact alone that I have a banana and they don't, and we are fatigue built and they're not, we should win here. As simple as that. Because now the fatigue is going to take over. We have even regen. Yes, they do have the Goobert triggering once every five years, but it's 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 over. Oh no, the Goobert triggered. They're gone. <laughs> so Tato Pack. Very nice. Three wins, two losses. And the two wins, three losses. No, two wins, two losses. I would say health potion guaranteed, yes. Let's also get the free stone that we just got, which is trash, but whatever. Let's make the health potion into regen potion. Sorry for the hiccups. And we find room. And do I want to go hungry blade? No. I'm thinking because it's 15%. Nah, actually none of them. Let's go energy. Let's go piggy bank. I think we're going to survive enough for the piggy bank to be a good value for money right now. We have whatever the game gives us. 
They should defeat us. This, this, this should beat us. <laughs> they definitely out DPS us based on what they have. We can only win if we go into fatigue, which the chance of us getting fatigue is pretty slim. They just got damage up, so that's going to be even worse. If I blind them enough, maybe fatigue can save us. If I blind them enough, which right now isn't happening. Fatigue come in. Come on. Ah, it's not going to be fast enough. It is pretty fast, but it's not that fast. Okay, we're at two lives. Classic Sift channel. Oh, and we got a free pan. Just like that. I don't want a pandemonium. Uh, I would say the pan goes up here. So we get more damage out of it. And I would say you go here and you go here. This does not touch the pan then like this, I would say. If anything, I would like that one more up. Well, we can do that because we have room. Like this. So the pan still gets the damage. And uh, I could have already had a Thorn Whip build. Ah, doesn't matter. Let's roll. Now the weapon of choice. First of all, let's get room. Now the weapon of choice is... We will need this. Do I want this right now? I mean, I'm going to buy this. And we found our crystal. I'm definitely going to buy our crystal. In my opinion, you should always buy the crystals if you are a slow and steady build, which we are. Although we're not going to stay a slow and steady build because the build is going to be a fancy, fancy build. Uh, why fancy, fancy thing? Because as far as I'm concerned, the meta right now might not be that. I think the meta right now is blinding and that weapon is literally completely anti-blindness. Like if opponent tries to blind you, you, you just don't get blinded. So let's hope we're going to get the fancy rep here. Come on, fatigue should give us a win here. Very nice. Very nice. Fatigue give us a win. We're going to go for another fatigue. Boom. By the way, we just got this out of the customer card. I will ult and we also got this out of... The gar yeah, the garlic uh, from the shovel. So that's nice. And I found a cheap ruby egg. I could transition... I mean, this is a cheap ruby egg we're talking about right here. Which I'm going to definitely sell the two stones. We don't need those. And I also definitely want... I already bought the crystal. Honestly, I would like to buy an egg for five. Yeah, why not have a dragon? Pocket dragon. This has flame animation. Ooh, first to debuff, get reflect. Whatever. Reload. There was room, by the way. Should have bought the room mana and maybe luck later i'm gonna say yes on this uh and also definitely go here i know it's not providing attack speed but it is providing damage to the pan uh this is a pandemonium build so we're gonna get super poisoned we should lose from poison although we do have a carrot but we should still lose from poison unless i blind them enough they also have carrots so they remove the blindness yeah this is oh right now it's a draw i'm gonna win if fatigue kicks in if fatigue kicks, kicks in we won like it's gone okay it's gone we won Come on, fatigue, seven, eight, done. <laughs> eight, nine, ten, they're gone. And we found the piercing arrow crit. Obviously, we want that as we are a crit build in the making. We found a bow and arrow for cheap. So sell the stone on the spot. I mean, this this pan doesn't really fit. I would say we go into the bow and arrow idea. I definitely want the attack speed. Not the gloves, though. Let's lock these. I'm thinking we buy this. Yeah, I think we should transition right this moment. So I'm going to buy room. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to sell the pan. And now this definitely fits. I mean, I will need to reorganize. So let's roll a moment. Let's put fit in. And let's also go acorn color for more crits. And now I'm going to reorganize. So reorganize time. Okay, I think this is it. I mean, this can definitely be better reorganized. Like, I'm pretty sure this can be better. But right now, I think we got this. So let's go. Let's go. I think we got this. I mean, I have min-maxed at least the bow and arrow here, the piercing arrow. And uh, we also give attacks with the corrupted crystal. So uh, let's hope for the best here. Let's hope for the best. And the arrow might be doing enough damage. We are already losing, by the way. Oh, it's a dagger build. Yeah, dagger build is super bursty. We're gone. <laughs> We're gone. One life left. Good thing I was reorganizing, and we got the dragon. So start of battle, gain 2 speed, and reflect 2 debuffs, and it's also free damage. And this attacks every 2.2 seconds, so it's definitely faster than the banana. We're triggering this. Let's get regen, let's get luck. Crits, that is. Let's roll. And we found anti-debuff. I'm gonna sell the pocket sand, I'm gonna also sell the spikes. We start needing things. Do I want to buy the carrot right this moment? I mean, in general, I should buy the carrot. I haven't found the weapon of choice though, so let's maybe try to find... I mean, I found this and this. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Let's buy this. I mean, honestly speaking, I would prefer just selling the piggy bank and getting the potion belt. I need room. And right now we have three spots and these are five. 
sell this, buy this. And let's actually play the game. So, uh, maybe here. Mini reorganize time. Okay, I'm ready. Theoretically, I would like the dragon to be critting. Theoretically. Practically, these two need to be critting the most. Because when this crits, this crits. Although in that vein, shovel could go away and then the ruby whelp could go here. Let's go. I think we got this. The gloves are gonna go into the weapon of choice when the weapon of choice is gonna appear. The dragon for now is gonna be activating our luck gain. Now, uh, luck gain on itself already is very anti-blindness. I'm not seeing blindness though, and I'm seeing spikes. Spikes are gonna kill us. We do have regen. These are on reverse, by the way. Wow. Wow. We won out of luck. I didn't even do this correctly. Got it. Let's buy this. Let's buy attack speed. Let's buy uh, room for two. Roll them. Another spike. Did I really go this, this deep into the Corrupted Crystal idea? I think with two we're already okay. If I lose from... We should no longer lose from fatigue anyway. Let's buy the banana. Let's sell this thing. I guess the banana is going to go here. We're not going to get the attack speed from the dragon anymore. Let's give attack speed to this. Actually, I need to min-max a bit here. Yeah. Mini reorganize time. Okay, I think we're better like that. Still, most of the things are firing, giving us luck. Let's go. I'm not going to buy more crystals. T time to go for the weapon of choice. Time to go for the weapon of choice. The fencing rapier. If I don't find the weapon in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a speed, in a decent speed, we're going to most likely lose. I will need to get rid of the shovel to get the rapier, by the way. We just drank all a potion. Now we have six regen. Theoretically, we should surviving. We are scaling more than them. Nice, we won. Very nice. The reason why we're scaling more than them is, first of all, we've got carrots. Carrots give us flat-out scaling. And then um, we also have luck gain, which they also have, but we also have blindness on them, so... Potato, potato. And we found our health potion, very nice. And we found Vamp Prism for the glove. That's a guaranteed yes. And I found, at long last, a chipped ruby, so that's healing. Let's put that here. Let's buy this. Let's buy this. Tax is definitely gonna get bought. Here you go. And... Uh, Let's also definitely buy this next turn. Although I should buy that now. Uh, well, let's sell the customer card. Let's get this and combine. Do I have two gloves? I have two gloves. We can definitely fit this. Reorganize time again. I think we're good. All the attack speed goes on the bow and arrow. I mean, this thing is attacking every 2.2 seconds. That's every 3.5. So we want this to fire faster. As First of all, the arrow does so much more damage. Let's go. Let's go. Still trying to get the weapon of choice. Still trying. Oh, it's a vamp. We should die here because this is a spikes build. Is it? Where are your spikes? What are you doing, man? They they didn't have regen. I guess they're going to get regen when they're low life. And then the, actual, the build is going to activate. I'm low life. I'm going to hit this first. Fatigue is our win, by the way. Fatigue is guaranteed our win. We are a fatigue build after all. Let's go. Partially, I guess. Nice. We found the actual potion slot. So now I can remove all the potions from wherever I have them and transfer them over to their actual rightful place. Which is over here on the sidelines. Always have this potion, by the way. I'll always have this if you can. If you can have this double potion lined up, do it. Let's get a stone, whatever. On a practically large sword. No, let's roll him. I found one room. I found carrot to remove any negative annotation in this lifesteal attack speed's good. Uh, I guess this could go here so it buffs that. Let's roll them on our book and more energy. I will buy the Torquilla. I want to be attacking like crazy. I'm not gonna buy this room. I should buy this room. Let's go. Buy the Torquilla. I'm still waiting for my weapon of choice. Let's see if we can even win. I'm, I'm just rolling with this shovel right now. We're playing a shovel build, and I'm at 7 blindness already, and I'm at 8 blindness again, they are bursting us down. One more time I'm gonna get the blindness, and then that's that. So let's hope I'm gonna survive until this blindness goes. If this blindness goes, we win. Come on, gone. And now we should be winning, nice, fatigue also hit, we won. Whoo, the potion, man, the potions. Torquilla, you go here, hits pretty much the most things. Hits the dragon, hits the bow, hits the um, hits the shovel. Doesn't hit any of the crystals, but that's not that important. Our stone. Even more luck, honestly. No, let's roll him. On the goobert. I'm gonna roll it, though. Can I please get my uh, weapon of choice? I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this right now, to be honest. I'm wa waiting and hoping for the weapon of choice to appear. 
It's a spikes build. This should actually kill us. Specifically because of the, the shovel. Because the, the bow and arrow and the whips and everything else should keep us alive. We haven't drunk the potions yet. We just drank our first one. Second one. Third one drunk. Oh, actually we won. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, we got another chip ruby. Really good. That's more lifesteal. Obviously, I'm going to combine here. Uh, let's roll them. I'd say we're cheap. Potion belt. I mean, I could fit it here. Five for four. Let's just fit it so we get the room done. Even more lifesteal. Do I want lifesteal? Definitely. It gives us tax speed. And regen. Definitely, definitely regen because that's another strong health potion. Let's go. Man, I'm 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 playing here with just a shovel, man. Where's my weapon of choice? Uh oh, this is a dark saber build. I never have sen seen that. A villain sword build and also buff build. If they ever get seven 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 everywhere, we're gonna lose. Ah, uh, they just they didn't get it yet. They didn't get they they just got it. Now they start doing more damage than us, but we out DPS them because of fatigue. Woo, almost died there. This was a 45 damage villain sword build plus four damage per weapon around, and it had three weapons around. Also double gin, that's why I was afraid about the buff. It did get the buff. DPS-wise, fatigue is caring, right? No, bone hour is here. Fatigue is 36. Fatigue is no longer doing anything. Okay, so we can sell those to get stats damage. With two lives into endless. We found the weapon of choice at long last. Here it goes. Fancy fencing rapier. So this is on hit, use three luck to gain two damage. And on miss, gain three luck. Why is this a weapon of choice? Because if I miss... Assuming that the opponents are blindness build, we will gain three luck. And that is gonna obviously rotate. I mean, not rotate, but that's gonna snowball into us getting more and more luck. And the more luck we have, the more crits we do. So, you know, everything just fits. You go here. These crystals are pretty relevant at this point. I just made a huge mistake. I'm gonna sell this crystal. <laughs> We're buying this. I should actually just have sold the. Um, yeah, that was a mistake too. I should have just sold the shovel. Doesn't matter. I don't think we're gonna lose specifically from that one crystal I just threw away. Do I want this banana to go somewhere else? I mean, I can definitely do so. Yeah. Something like this, and you can go here now, and this attack speed should... You know, now I want to start giving attack speed to the Fencing Fancy Rapier. So that's very important. Even though we lose out on some attack speed anyway. Can I give even more to this? I need to reorganize this whole thing. So that everything is in, a, in an alignment for the Fencing Fencing Rapier to get all the crazy attacks that I wanted to. So, uh, yeah, I guess reorganize time. I guess reorganize time. Actually, let's first see if I can find anything. <laughs> Crystal for four. You know what? I'm going to buy it back. And uh, let's actually reorganize now. Okay, I think we're done. I'm pretty sure at least we're done. Uh, I'm giving the attack speed to the Blueberry and the Ruby Whelp. Actually, I would like the Ruby Whelp to get more attack speed. And uh, still the Fencing Reaper. This is the most important weapon of choice here of, of this build. So uh, we want this as high as possible to get as much attack speed as possible. Because we want this to attack very fast. So it gains the luck and the permanent damage. And we have also 15% lifesteal. So we should always be alive. Vampirism, like Spikes should not kill us anymore. And uh, yeah, we don't have any issues with blindness. Look at this. It is uh, actually the lightsaber build. And look, although we have four blindness, we will be gaining luck and losing luck every time we hit the opponent. So the, the blindness is irrelevant to us. We have 28 poison, but that's also relevant as we are an anti-poison build from the potions. And we won. Very nice. And we still fatigue partially. So late game is never going to be an issue for us. Let's buy this. Wow. Uh, an actual impractically great sword. Wow. <laughs> I would have liked to uh, do that as a build, Duh, but I'm not going to do that. And I just did a huge mistake here. I didn't do the combo. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's uh, even more higher crit chance. I don't think so. I could though. Yeah, let's go for the even higher crit chance. Why not? There is no downside to this. Let's roll him. Another carrot. Definitely want that. I want as many carrots as possible. I don't want to have to deal with debuffs at all. Let's go. This crit is going to only hit my main weapon of choice. It's a, it's a blood harvester build with a bunch of vampirism. Let's see how this is going to go. I mean, they also have books, which I should also go for, by the way. I should definitely go for books. DPS-wise, I should be a lot higher than them. And healing-wise, I should also be higher than them. The two books are gone. And fatigue sets in. Fatigue fights are our fights. So, big mistake on having the crystal over there. And we won. And we won. They have a bunch of vampirism, but that's not enough. 
That is not even remotely enough. Big mistake on having the Corporate Crystal offline. My opinion, at least. Look at this. 562 damage here. 73 on the crit. This is doing 339 damage. I'm not finding blindness builds. I'm a bit... I'm a bit... Uh, it's a bit weird. But it's okay. This still, this does counter the, the... This still counters the meta. So that counts. And now this gives us 6 vampirism and also 35% faster attack speed. So we have 12 vampirism ourselves. We need to revive 2 more turns. Really easy. Let's go with anti-burst. 25% chance to resilience. 50% chance to prevent hit from being crit and 50%. So at the first three seconds, 25% is damage taken, and then 50% chance to prevent crits and stuns. And that's important because we don't want to die from a random hammer explosion build. And I would also like to get the damage immunity, and I think we're ready to go. I don't need to wait here for anything. Let's go. And this is uh, none of the things I would hope it would be. It is vampirism, so but it's pretty relevant to us. It's not poison, so I mean, even if it was poison, we have triple carrot, so poison is not a thing. And they have vampirism, but that's also not really a thing. My potions gonna start popping in a moment. Here they gone. They just we just drank all our potions, and now DPS plus fatigue, they're gone. 69, very nice. They just melted at the end. Look at this. They have 164 life. Fatigue is, has 200 life, 200 life, and Fatigue sets in here. They have 200 life almost. Crit from the arrow, 18, boom. And then like, they 69 from the Fancy Grape here. Very nice. And another 69, they're gone. 69, and then another 69. Wow, they got triple 69. Okay, how much attacks did this have? It's at 0 0.8 at the end, right? 0 0.79, so this is attacking faster than a second. Let's see how the final fight's gonna look like. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna roll. I could go for even more attacks, but no. On our crystal for the super duper fatigue fight. Is a super duper fatigue fight even gonna happen? I don't think so. We're gonna just go with our garlic just to, uh, I guess, counter the last vampirism that's left. We found regen. I'm gonna buy it. I'm not gonna combine it as it's about to end anyway. I would like mana giving us luck. Therefore, let's buy this. I would also like to for shielding and let's go. I think that's enough. We should be winning this. I mean, that's a very random thing to say, but we should be winning this. It's a spikes build. Plus healing. It's a healing build. Soda pops. It's a healing of unhealing build. Let's see how this is gonna go. Now, we have 10 vampirism, and they don't have... I mean, they do have garlics. They will take it away from us. We just got the shielding a bit early, in my opinion, but that doesn't matter. If anything, shielding might take luck away from us. And that's it. We should win here. We are the fatigue build. They're not gone. And I think this is... Although we didn't fight what I thought was going to be the meta, which is blindness. We did fight like one lightsaber once, but we still beat that. I think this is how you beat it. Like, if the opponent that are playing blindness, you just go fencing, fencing rape here. Because this thing literally counters blindness. Every time it misses, it gives you three luck. Three luck is 15% hit chance. So every time it attacks, it just increases the luck more and more and more. And when it starts hitting, it just takes three luck away. If the opponent applies more blind to you, you start getting more luck and you counterbalance that and if you i mean it, it didn't happen right now but still i'm explaining here like if i had 20 blind then the fencing raper would have given us 20 luck right and then the carrots would start kicking in because they say at five luck and higher they start giving you damage so i would have started gaining damage like the idea is the following we use the fencing rapier to gain luck we don't use the fencing rapier to hit and remove luck from us because the more luck we have the more the carrots work the carrots also take debuffs away like it, it's very very anti-blind uh, mainly like this build is the anti-blind build so if blindness ever becomes a thing just go fencing rapier and you're gone it's it's a win yeah, like straight up and i would even suggest once again go corrupted crystals so you always win the fatigue fight uh, dps wise here at the end they didn't have healing with i mean they did have healing they were stuff on healing build they didn't do that much damage though they did almost nothing we didn't even drink the potions how can this be the final fight man anyway it doesn't matter this is the damage and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed as always we did 80 crits at the end very nice these are the final stats of my rapier in case you wanted to see it 33 39 and 0 0.87 cooldown the previous fight once again had more things going and um yeah i think that's going to be it this counters the shovels for sure and we also got diamond i guess with this character too at zero yeah this is not what it's gonna look like next video because i'm not only getting wins in this game anyway hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around